Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you something very interesting that I found out that happens with two ordinary balloons, but one of them is actually filled with helium, which is on the left, and the other one is filled with regular air and on the right. So, when when uh, when you're in the car and you step on the gas and you floor it going forward, everything usually falls back. So if you're in the seat, you're sliding back. If you have stuff in the back trunk, they are going right back to the back of the car. But the balloon, the one on the left, when you give it gas, instead of everything getting pushed back, the balloon on the left is gonna go forward and the balloon that's filled with regular air is gonna go all the way back. And then when you see, when I'm stepping on the brakes, the balloon that uh, was, the balloon that's supposed to be going forward, when I step on the brakes, it's actually going back. It's actually uh, acting opposite of the way things in the car, in the cars are actually gonna act, like a person or an object in the car. So let's give it a try and then we'll go further into it. So let's take off. And now I'm stopping and it goes back and that one goes forward. Isn't that interesting? Now they're just leveling out, you know, cause gravity kind of takes their place and the balloon that's on the, uh, the one with the helium is gonna go straight up. So let's go for a drive now. But before I do, let me just explain why. So the balloon that's with helium is actually, so helium is a lot uh, lighter, okay, than air. So a lot lighter than air. So that's why the helium balloons actually float. And since the balloon is lighter than air and all this air that's in the car that's slushing around, almost like water would be in a jar. Um, so when I step on it, all that air is getting pushed all the way back to the back of the car and hitting the back and getting pushed forward. Okay, that's why the helium balloon gets pushed forward. The regular balloon that's filled with um, just regular air is gonna act just like regular air does, kind of go to the back, you know what I mean? And kind of stay there because uh, it's just the same air as uh, in the regular car. But the one with the helium, it just gets pushed forward because it's lighter, the air gets, and I'll show you an example later with a, with a water bottle um, and a little, you know, let's say a ping pong ball. So let's go for a drive really quick and see exactly what happens when I take a left and when I take a right, because they're supposed to be crossing each other every which way so let's go do that before we do that let's put it uh, in reverse and let's see what happens so the one on the the one on the right um, should when I go in reverse come towards me okay the one on the the healing balloon should technically you think it would but because it's lighter than air it's actually gonna be going away from me so the direction that I'm going is kind of weird because it's like the faster I go the balloon is actually going in the direction where I'm going ahead of me which the air is pushing it from the front of the car since it's going all the way to the from the back to the front and pushing it back did you see that guys isn't that interesting or what uh, even if you go reverse I mean it seems like it's very odd if you guys had ever carried balloons that are filled with heliums to a party maybe you guys wouldn't even have noticed it unless you're kind of like if you know uh, uh, how things work really you know like how objects move some people won't even notice that the balloons are actually moving in the wrong direction like it might mean if I'm sitting in the car and I'm getting taught you know the car is accelerating forward I'm staying behind objects are staying behind they're gonna go be go back so that's really interesting but if you ever pay attention next time when you're carrying balloons Watch where they go. If you have a bunch of balloons and uh, you give it gas, all those balloons are coming forward instead of to the back of the car like every other object acts. So let's watch it. Let's drive around and see what happens. All right, guys. So the balloons are stabilizing. So I'm going to be taking a sharp right right now. As you can see, the balloons just completely split. So the one on the left actually went to the right as I took a right, which it should go left, just like any object in the car. Now I'm gonna be taking a right, a left. So watch what happens when I take a left. They actually crisscross. Isn't that interesting or what? Guys, that's amazing. So let me just take a camera from the side and let you see a side view, guys. So guys, the balloons stabilize. They're almost stable, let's just see. So they just hang in there now. And as soon as I give it gas, the one that's smiling towards you, that's the one with the helium, guess where it goes? Towards the front of the car. Isn't that crazy or what? Now they're stabilizing. So hold on, I'm just uh, I'm gonna be stopping now. So. As you can see, the car, the, the air is in the, the car is stable. 
table and when I stop the balloon is actually going the other way so guys I'm gonna be making two different circles one in clockwise direction and the other one in a counterclockwise direction and you can see how these balloons are actually acting separating it might look different for you guys but I'm taking a right which might be opposing for you since you're watching the video and the one with the helium is actually going the same direction as I am and not being thrown to the to the left just like every object in this car just like the other balloon is so now if I make a uh, change my circle so now I'm gonna be tur turning uh, counterclockwise which for you guys is probably going to look clockwise, so it might be a little confusing. But either way, you can see how a balloon with helium and a balloon with regular air uh, acts. So now we're going to be going the other way, and they're actually pretty much touching and crisscrossing each other. Isn't that interesting, huh? So the way I'm turning the balloon with the, the helium is actually going towards me. And every other object is actually getting pushed to the other side of the car. Just like, like if somebody's, if you're driving in a car and somebody's taking a very sharp turn, whichever, if they're turning left, you are getting slammed at the, in the, into the right door. Here we go, they stabilize and we're gonna give it gas. And then we're gonna press the brake. <laughs> Interesting. Here guys, here we go. Here's this big water jug. Now the jug is gonna be the, the, the car, inside of the car. That's gonna be the space inside the car. The water is the air that's gonna be slushing around inside the car. And this uh, little ping pong ball, which is, it's just filled with air, is, uh, since it's lighter than water, it's gonna act like the balloon that's lighter than air inside the car. Now, if I'm gonna start pushing this bottle to the left, okay, this balloon, this little uh, ping pong ball is actually gonna go right to the front. Watch this. See that? And then it kind of jumps back because the water stops and it pushes the other way. Here we go. I'm gonna kind of try to level it as best as I can. And I'm gonna go forward. Okay, there we go. And level it best as I can. And I'm gonna go back, see? Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is something that I just uh, was watching. It was just so fascinating to me. I'm like, how come I never noticed that the, uh, the balloons that are filled with helium are actually doing that in the car? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe you guys weren't paying attention either. So next time when you do carry balloons with helium, pay attention what happens when they're in your vehicle. And uh, hopefully you learned something or hopefully you learned something or uh, saw something really interesting and that you can uh, pay attention for next time to see uh, what happens with the balloon. It's actually very uh, fun to do. So uh, see you guys next time.